We're buying a house. Oh. Completely sight unseen. This could either be a total blessing in disguise. <gasps> so good. Or a big mistake. Oh. oh my gosh, it's a lot of rat poop. There's no floor. I wasn't trying to manifest it, but. This is the worst idea ever. This is all happening so fast, I don't even know what to think. I have so many emotions right now. We've been wanting a base, something that we can go home to, just kind of decompress from full-time road travel, do projects on the RV, and just have a little bit more space to spread out when we're home. Even though, like, yes, we have all of the things that we could ever possibly need to be comfortable in the RV, no matter where we are, there's something inside of my soul that needs my own space and find a routine. Being full-time on the road definitely takes a toll on certain people mentally, more so than others. Me especially, my mental health just gets out of whack. We were looking and browsing earlier in the year, but the prices were just outrageous. We weren't really finding anything that we liked, and I stopped looking. Yesterday, I woke up with like an urge to look for a property, and a home had come on the market like an hour before I started looking. It was literally perfect for us. It's like everything we've been looking for in a house. It's nothing too big. There's a spot for us to park our RV. It has a nice yard. It's two blocks away from my aunt and uncle. It's really close to my family. It's a weird house, but it has tons of potential. Yeah, and the price was fantastic. There was multiple, multiple offers and holy moly, we won. So we are not gonna become a home renovation channel all of a sudden. We are not stopping RVing. We have a lot of travels in our plans in the future, but we are going to be sharing our experience through this journey. We've made it to Florida. We're in Altamont Springs. We're making some stops. In preparation for the thing that we did. We're gonna go see our house for the first time today. <laughs> Almost to our house. Oh house my God, this is it. This is it. This is our house. Yeah. What I got. Cool. Do you wanna do the honor? This is weird, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Are you ready? What do you think? It's cool, man. Is it as nice as you thought? When we get done with it, this space is gonna be really cool. I love it. I was really nervous. I mean, it needs a lot of work, like a lot of work. And we have our work cut out for us because we're trying to do this in only a month and a half, but we can do it. <laughs> We've done way worse renovations before. The thing that I'm the most upset about right now is the amount of rat poop in here. Yes. Check it out. Oh, this space is awesome. It's way deeper than I thought, and I, yeah. I'm glad. Okay. I love how open it is. Dennis just made the, an awesome suggestion to have like a little reading nook to be like little Dumbledore's office, and then this side will be our standing desk or seated desk. We could get a little corner one. Oh, this is our house, this is our house, this is our house. I'm sweating so bad right now. The thermostat says it's 96 degrees in here. The AC does not work currently. We're getting it replaced tomorrow, the very first thing we do, so <laughs> we can work in the Florida heat. Let's look at the bathroom. You got lights in there? Eh, not this much, but. Oh my God, it's so gross. <laughs> oh, this bathroom is disgusting. This kitchen's gonna feel ginormous. Like, look at this. I can, look at the space. Look at the space. <laughs> it is, it's crazy big. Do you know how many cabinets we have in our RV right now? I do. The bedrooms are past the kitchen. Ooh, this one's big. This will be our master for sure. I didn't know how I was gonna feel when we got here. Kind of expecting, I guess, to get here and maybe not like it as much as I did in pictures, but I'm excited about this. Yeah, 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 this is gonna be a fun, this is gonna be a fun project. Got our work cut out for us. I can't wait to get started. I mean, get started. You're already started. You've been calling people for weeks. It's so much to coordinate. And I am so excited that Notion is sponsoring this video because keeping track of everything, all of the contractors, all of the things we have to purchase, all of our ideas and projects and inspiration has been so overwhelming. I've been using Notion for years to plan our trips, organize our YouTube videos and content calendar, and to do simple things like take notes for our Spanish class. But now with Notion's free project templates, I can keep track of all of the things going on. I can see how on track we are with our budget and spending. And my favorite part is I can line it all up in a beautiful timeline. Seriously, my organizer heart sings when I look at it. And since I can easily collaborate with my team on the Notion projects template and link it to other platforms like Slack or Google Drive, 
life, I will definitely be using Notion's project templates for other aspects of our business. If you are looking for an easy to use but comprehensive way to take notes, manage tasks, and get organized, make sure to use the link in the video description below to sign up for Notion for free today. And I wanna thank Notion for keeping me sane during this. What do you think, are we gonna survive this, dude? Yeah, I mean, I'll just clean it out. And the deck job is just gonna be a pain in the ass on this. Really? Sorry, dude. It's your money. <laughs> there you go. It is demolition day. Camilo, our contractor, is here. He's brought his crew and he is getting right to work. First up is the bathroom. He's gonna be tearing everything out so he can start in that. Now, we're not doing a lot of the work ourselves because one, um, that's not us, right. above our pay grade. And two, because we have such a short timeline, we have international travel coming up. We wanted to make sure that this got done so we could you know, have peace of mind knowing the project was done while we were away. I hear hammers banging. Fantastic to see the progress already. <laughs> but we realized that the entire house does not have insulation. Yeah. Like it, we're literally living in a plywood shack. But our goal for today is to go shopping. There's tons of like resellers here for furniture and home parts. And we're really hoping to find some discounted pricing on tile and vanities and all the things we need for the house. I'm excited to go shopping. I mean, who doesn't love shopping? Who doesn't like retail therapy? Hell, I love it. So overwhelmed by all of this. So many decisions to make. It's like decision like fatigue. Hunt. Breaking out. The hunt continues, I guess. Things are happening. I feel like this home is coming together way faster than I ever imagined, which is amazing. Camilo is working on the bathroom, the redoing the plumbing, the electrical. My brother-in-law, Shane, is working on the kitchen. He's ripping out the cabinet, getting our new microwave installed. We're also prepping for new countertops. And Dennis is in here preparing for us to have new flooring put in. Shane and Camilo are taking care of the big boy jobs. And they stuck me on the quarter round removal. <laughs> There's like a lot of small changes that you probably won't notice unless we point them out to you, but they make such a big difference in how the home feels. Oh my gosh, it's a lot of rat poop. We were originally just gonna paint the kitchen cabinets, but after getting in there and really seeing the condition of them, I think we are just going to opt to replace them. We did also find two little rat holes in the kitchen. There's no evidence of rat yet, but we are very nervous to see what is behind the wall. I'm stepping out, shattering ceilings, breaking new ground. No hesitation, I'm in the My motivation. I got nothing to prove. Uh, the wall's in better shape than I thought it was gonna be, but the uh, lower part needs some repair. Okay, so the plan is to get the floor out, and then get the floor out, get the cabinets out, and uh, see what we find. All right. His yard work is a lot. We have found so much trash. We have like a whole trailer full of just stuff they left in the yard. It amazes me what people leave behind. Now we're trimming up the trees while Dennis is mowing the lawn. We weed whacked a lot of this stuff because it was so overgrown. The boys are working away inside. This part's super satisfying because we can already see the result of the grass is mowed and it just feels like such a bigger space. Inside, that's a little bit more patience before we see the big reward. There's no floor. It's the whole middle of the kitchen that would have been in front of the sink. So we were expecting this wall to be back, but really it's this. This is a floor joist, and it looks like it may or may not be gone. I wasn't trying to manifest it, but... I mean, it's it a wood knew, frame house knew, yeah. that's old and wasn't taken care of. Wood Am frame. I surprised? Not really. Yeah. Am I bummed? Yeah. <laughs> It's like with any renovation, there's always going to be surprises. If you've done a renovation, you know what I'm talking about. We are hungry, so we're getting Mexican food to fill us up. Where'd you score this? El Maguey. We got a burrito, we got birria tacos, barbacoa, chorizo, y carnitas. Have you seen it? 
the bathroom? Uh -huh. Yeah, I'll come up. And what do you think? I think it was great. Oh my gosh, I can't yeah. wait. <gasps> wow. I'm not gonna show them. Oh my god, it looks so <laughs> good. ripped out the trees, our landscaping is really coming together. The next step is to put sheet mulch down. We do not want a yard that we have to mow. So that's kind of like one way of getting rid of grass. Sister's designing an entire beautiful food forest for us. She's gonna have a whole video about the transformation and all the steps she took to, to do it. So if you're interested, we'll have a link for that down below. Thing now. We got a new floor, we got a new floor. Oh my God, I'm so hot. Yard work in Florida in July. This is the worst idea ever. <laughs> We still have a lot of work to do. And I think this is where we're gonna leave you. Hopefully in the next video, we'll be able to reveal more of the beautiful finishings for the home and really seeing it come together. Thanks so much for watching. I've been using, <laughs> gonna go. Do it, do it! This is what happens when you film on a construction site. This is fantastic. <laughs> yeah. I didn't say this, no? Did you like, did you, yeah, yeah, you shaved, yeah, you did, you shaved. Happy, happy, happy? Happy, 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 Okay, okay. <laughs> We're practicing this in my Spanish class right now. <laughs> what, what is this? Clearly children lived here. Disney on ice, little lightsaber.